Good day, ladies and gents. Let me quickly connect to the International Space Station first. All right, we've been successfully connected. Let's talk about the news. So the main, uh, the main news, the main news for today is the fact that one of the quests was changed. The name of the quest is the um, uh, Colleagues Part Three. That's the quest where you needed to hand in different key cards to get absolutely nothing in return. Originally, instead of handing in Terra Group Labs access key cards, you had to turn in a green key card as well as the blue key card, and those key cards are very expensive. Green goes for 60 million for 20 on the flea now, and the blue key card is being sold for 37 million, right? And after you hand in those key cards, you get two violet key cards back. And violet are not priced at this high value. Violets are only worth 9 million, so in other words, you hand in like 60, 70, 80 mil, whatever, and you get 20 million back, which is not a really good investment. So this quest was changed. Right now, you still do need to hand in the injectors AHF1 and 3BTG, as well as you can't kill Senator. And the new rewards are as follow. And those are the new rewards, thanks to Logical Solutions. You get a black key card, you get a medical case, you get a couple of injectors, and uh, 200,000 rubles. And I think this is great because the black key card comes as a found and rate item and you can sell it on the flea market. Right now, black key cards are priced, I think, at around 5 million, 4 million, 3.6, 3.7 million. So, in other words, you hand in, what, 1.6 million and you get um, 4 million back, including the injectors. And I think that's that's a good investment. However, somebody, somebody in the comments said that the lab key cards have to be found in raid i'm not sure if this is true because i can't i can't check it myself i already finished the other quest i've killed senator and apparently those key cards have to be found in raid i cannot confirm that but if that's the case mm, that's a bit difficult that's a bit difficult the other change is that for the quest crisis where you need to hand in lots of uh, medical items you only need to hand in three ledexes instead of five which is a great change i don't really know who does this quest because the only thing you get from it is the xp and whenever you get the crisis quest you don't really need xp because people probably have kappa and max, uh, maxed out traders already anyway another quest in which you need to kill Sturman 25 times was lowered to 20 and whenever you finish this quest you unlock mk18 the lapool rifle Good change, doesn't really affect many people too much, but it's nice, it's nice to... It's nice to know that you don't have to grind Sturmon as much as before to unlock the rifle. And other quest for which you get Chained Heart Armband, which is probably one of my favorite armbands in the game. You need to kill uh, players on woods without wearing any armor or helmet. It used to be 20 originally, and now it's changed to 15. The other thing that I would love to talk today about is the fact uh, that lots of people were discussing the... Um, cheater problem how we can solve it, and the replay system. And I personally thought that I wouldn't really mind it too much if in the next wipe, let's say it happens in July or June or August or whatever, sometime in summer, if we didn't really get that much content. However, we did get the system report uh, system, a cheater report system. So the system, if you do die to a cheater and you, and you report them or you don't, you get a notification that um, you died to a cheater and the cheater got banned. And maybe you get something like a small package as a um, insurance return, something like 100,000 rubles or 200,000 rubles, if VSG can't really calculate your whole gear with which you died. And the second thing would be a replay system. So a lot of times you die in Tarkov and you don't really know why and it might have been the sync or whatever and the replay system would come in very, very handy. And I just thought that I wouldn't mind getting uh, like no content whatsoever in the summer wipe and getting those two things the cheater report system and getting the loot back and the replay system so let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below and more or less we're done with the video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one